How's it going everybody? TexRob86 here, back at you with another video. So today we're going to be doing a special kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. Uh, we're going to be doing an opening that I've been wanting to do for quite some time that I just haven't had the chance to be able to purchase this product because of school and everything else that's been going on personally, but I'm not trying to get into any of that kind of business right now. Um, I'm just here to, to put videos out for you guys and, and to have a good time. Um, but today we're going to be opening up something that has been opened up on plenty of other channels, but I have only opened up the original one. But we're going to be doing the mystery Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Box number two. Now, it kind of takes a little bit more space on my screen, so I had to adjust uh, my stand to be able to, to show the whole box. But as you can see with this one, you get uh, two booster packs, five bonus packs, which are always uh, the battle pack threes, uh, one vintage item and one mystery item as well. And you have a chance to get uh, um, Cyberstein and see what else we can get. We can get some uh, sleeves, other uh, graded cards, mystery items such as keychains, and one vintage pack. And now I have seen people pull some of these uh, vintage packs out of these uh, boxes, but I'm not, we're not guaranteed really anything that old. So let's go ahead and pop in to see what we can get. And I do apologize for my dogs in the, in the background, if you can hear them. They might have seen something interesting, like a squirrel and or bird. Alright, sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to get rid of the plastic as smoothly as possible. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we get. So we get the battle packs. Oh, nice. We got a uh, Clash of Rebellions. Oh, sorry. Hit the microphone there. And we get Legacy of the Valiant. And we got a Spell Ruler. So I was just talking about that, that we weren't guaranteed something this old. But as you can see, we were able to get that. And we got uh, one of the old Game Boy Advance games from way back when. Let's see. Now, I don't... I saw another video opened up. Oh, wow. This is actually sealed. Another video opened up um, where they got this game and theirs was open. Their cartridge is open, of course, but mine seems to be closed. And the game is still there. Right there. But, but unfortunately, <laughs> it's in Japanese. And we don't get the awesome cards that come in this game. I believe you're supposed to get the Egyptian God cards out of this game, as you can see right there. But we don't get that game. I mean, we get the game, but not the cards. So that's all right. You know, I was actually hoping that we got this game out of these. Uh, because I do have a Nintendo, 3, uh, Nintendo DS. And I will try my best to play it um, in my personal time. But so, we got our... Uh, Two packs, or two booster packs, our five bonus packs, and our awesome vintage packs. Now, I'm really, really questioning if I should open this, only because I haven't, I don't remember ever opening up one as a child, um, but I could have, you know, back then it was always, it was very different than it is now with opening up trading cards. I didn't really pay attention to the packs then, and I really don't all that much now, but let's go ahead and open up some of these packs. All right, we got Pyramid of Wonders, a number 46 Sky Pegasus. Oh, a nice Breaker the Magical Warder, Warrior, uh, Swords Revealing Light, and Fabled Anseville. All right, awesome. I actually liked Breaker from uh, Magical War Warrior. I remember watching him when Yugi was using uh, uh, was dueling Weevil on the train in the Waking the Dragons. Uh, I think that was season four, um, and he actually used. Uh, Berserker, the magical warrior, uh, to attack Weevil over and over and over again. Of course, he lost control, and Taya had to step in and make sure that he didn't take it out of two out of hand. And uh, I think the last card was still a monster card, and he would have attacked him again. And of course, whenever you lose when you're dueling against the Seal of War Calcos in the anime, you lose your soul. All right, so we got a Metal Morph. Uh, Medolce Bapple, a Goblin Elite Attack Force, 
a two tin mask, and then enraged battle locks. I actually use this in uh, duel links. Um, let's put our uh, goblin elite attack goblin elite attack force in the front. All right. Now the only problem with these boxes that I see from every other person's channel is, you know, it's such a a gamble trying to get something really good out of these boxes. We were able to get lucky and uh, get the the spell ruler. It would have been nice if we got a magic ruler, but I'll take what we can get. Ghost from the past, uh, failure Ra uh, Rapica, golden flying fish for our rare forgotten temple of the deep, and a marine ro uh, submarine roid. I actually like submarine roid. I um from GX. Um, Cyrus Truesdale. He was uh, my second favorite character in the whole series. Next to Jaden being my first, of course. Because, you know, Elemental Heroes and all. I really loved Elemental Heroes. Um, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open up this pack. I'm sorry that it's taking so long for this video. In this video, I'm taking so long. But I, I'm trying not to bend any of the cards. One-Shot Wand. Psychic Jumper. Uh, Machine Keen Prototype. Psychic Overload. And... And a Street Patrol. I actually like this card. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I'm actually going to school to become a police officer. So, uh, <laughs> that's actually kind of a cool card for me to get. Um, so, I will definitely hold on to that. And, you know, maybe that, uh, I can build a deck around something like that. Um, I can't remember that it was... There's, there's, there's several cards I think I can use around that kind of uh, type. Blast with Chain, Enemy Controller. Now, this is a really good card in, in Duel Links. Uh, Meta Bow Shark, Night Beam. Target one spell or trap card in your opponent controls to destroy that target. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted card in response to this card's activation. That sounds a little bit redundant. Lord Poison, and that's it. So, we'll put our uh, Silver Letter Rare up front. So, let's get into Legacy of the Valiant. Um... I don't know exactly what's in this set, but if you give me a second to get away, from, uh, get this plastic out of the way, I will definitely let us know what we can pull out of here. So give me one second. All right, guys, I am back. I have gone through the plastic a little bit more, and I actually pulled up the card list for this set. And now I want to try to get the first Monarch or Rainbow Karibo. Those are both secret rares. Um, any kind of secret rare or super rare or ultra or yeah, a rare Oakler rare number 39 Utopia boot, uh, Roots would be awesome. Or even a short print would be really, really great to be able to get from this set. So, let's see what we can get. We got a Doo 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 Blaster, a Mystic uh, Micro Coppa Seed, XC's Override, Coronomaly uh, Mole Carrier, Ghost Trick Dullian. Oh, no, no other. Kind of rare. Uh, Photon, uh, Chargeman, Chronomaly, uh, Wing Sphinx, and a Ghost Trick Mummy. And an XC's Shift. And that was it. So let's put our Silver Little Rare. We got two Ghost Tricks out of it, though, so that's alright. Um, I'm not a. I haven't been too into uh, the newer card sets lately, so um, I do. I The main. Most research I did on a pack was. Uh, was. Uh, Duelist pack, the Duelist packs with uh, Joey on the cover. Legacy of the Duelist, I believe that's what it's called. Let me see, I got a pack right here. Yeah, Legacy of the Duelist, so we did this one right here. I was actually really excited to see that uh, Red Eyes Baby Dragon, and I was actually able to pull it. It was amazing, but it took me forever to pull it. So, yeah, so I'm pulling up the, the links right here for the this list for it, and we can get... We can. Um, we're gonna start. We're gonna strive for a red eyes flare metal dragon or a storming mirror force. So now this one's in the box. So gonna have to tear open the box off screen, and we'll go ahead and do the pack on screen now. Uh, actually, I'm gonna have to cut the pack open a little bit. So that way, I actually try to save these packs for those of you that don't know. Um, I do a lot with my uh, Pokemon videos, but particularly I'm trying to do it here as well. So, let's see. 
Extinction on Schedule, Opera Med uh, Medelvius Diva, uh, Waterfront, Balance of Judgment. That's actually a pretty nice card. Uh, Consumo Forerunner. Uh, I, I knew I kind of messed it up right there. Aroma Jar, Performer Pal, Silver Claw, Return of the Red Eyes. I actually need that card for my Red Eyes deck. And Ignition Phoenix. So we haven't done any of that. <laughs> any real good holographic cards at, at all, really. Um, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and open this Spell Ruler. I, I, I really don't want to, but, you know, it, it's something that has to be done to see if we can save this opening. We really, really, really need to save this opening. Now, the card that I really want from this set, and it's, it's going to be a shot in the dark, is the su uh, I believe it's a super rare or secret rare uh, blue eyes toon dragon. I'm actually looking it up right now because I don't want to be wrong. Yeah, secret rare blue eyes toon dragon. Um, I'm gonna do my best. I'm actually gonna slice the pack on the back, and we're gonna save this pack because I'm gonna try to to do. Oh well, that didn't work. Okay. Yeah, so I'm actually going to have to slice this pack. Um, I'm going to do my best to save it. Alright. Yeah, so. We're trying for the Secret Rare Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. But these are some nice cards. I actually have a lot of these cards. Uh, Labyrinth Wall, Curse of Fiend, Guardian of the Throne Room, House of Adhesive Tape, Cyber Jar, of course, that's banned. And please, do we have something awesome? Luminous Spark, no... Chaos, uh, Chorus of Sanctuary, Electric Snake, uh, Jurgen, Jigen, uh, Bakudan, and that was it. So, no hollows whatsoever in this pack. But we did get some nice silver letter rares. We got a banned so, uh, cipher jar, uh, cyber jar. I actually don't have this card, I don't believe, in my collection. But I can show you on another video all my banned cards. Uh, that I have from the original sets. But we did get this awesome little game in the box and everything else, including the instruction manual. So maybe that can sell it on eBay or something and get some money out of it. But thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked what you saw in this video, go ahead and leave a like and a comment in the comment section below. And let me know if anything that you saw in here that was amazing to you, that you remember from any of these sets that you use in your decks or just in your co collection. Excuse me. Also, if you'd like to stay updated with any time that I do a video, please hit the bell icon as well. I would really appreciate it. You know, I'm a small YouTuber, and every single one of you matters to me. Um, I don't try to make uh, two over-the-top videos. I do whatever I can with what I have, and that's the most important thing to me is to make you guys happy and, and try to make your days just a little bit better if you're having a bad day. I hope that these videos that I'm putting out help you smile, help get you through your day, and just help push you to be that much more awesome than you already are. So, without further ado, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hug a loved one, give them a big kiss on the forehead, and remember to smile each and every day because you are awesome and Texas Rob 86 loves you. Also, if you look to the, to the left of, uh, on this video, you will see some more videos available for you to watch and check out. We also have a playlist that will actually help have all the rest of my Yu-Gi-Oh! openings as well. I know there's not that very many, but we're trying to build that as well. And you can also hit this little icon over here in the corner to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you made it this far, be on the lookout because we do have some more Yu-Gi-Oh! products to be opening. We will be doing uh, the, the reloaded decks for Yu-Gi and Kaiba in two separate videos. Um, the reason being is so that way I don't boggle down on too much time on every video. So thank you everybody so much for watching and this is Text Red 86 and I'll see you in the next video.